If you are a mature dry skin gal, then you're going to know that the struggle is real about powder. Hi YouTube family, we are going to be discussing my favorite, my top five favorite powders at the drugstore that I use for setting my makeup. Now before we get started, I want to tell you specifically that I don't use a ton of powder. I do like to have the blurring effects of powder on the parts where I have big pores, which is the chin, the cheeks, and up here on the forehead, and of course the nose. And then I also like the effect of powder, you know, to set the makeup instead of, you know, be having to get creasing, maybe around your chin, maybe around your nose a little bit. When it's warmer outside, I use more powder. When it's like it is right now in the winter time where it's dry inside with the forced air and the heat, then it even becomes more of a challenge as far as trying to find a really good powder that will work on dry mature skin. Now, the biggest thing for me is that it's going to show up texture, right? That's what happens. You get too much powder on, it gets to looking too much too cakey and you're like, ah, you feel like your whole entire look is ruined. Whereas before you put your powder on, you felt like, well, okay, I look good. And then I put my powder on, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about five that I have that I really love. And, and we're gonna do it in a ranking style where we go from number five to number one. So even though these this is like number five and then there is a number one, I don't really feel like any of these um, couldn't be like interchanged per se. So let's get into the video so that you can see what I'm talking about and I can tell you a little bit about what my dry skin does with powder. So the first thing I wanna tell you is that I personally find that loose setting powders are so drying that I don't use them. So all the powders I'm gonna show you today are compact powders, they're pressed powders. And I feel like what the difference is, is that a pressed powder, in order for it to go into that pan and be pressed, it has to have something a little more emollient, a little more um, on the hydrating side. Powder's not really hydrating, but you could get what I'm saying. When you put it into a pressed compact, it has to be able to stay there. So there has to be something to bind it there and put it in there. So. But there is one exception to that rule, and this is not in my ranking. I love the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I have mine in Fair Light number 10, and this powder is fabulous for being able to sit down my makeup and not being able to make me so dry. It's not in the ranking today, but it's an extra bonus for you guys because I want to show you the pressed powders that I feel like do a better job than a loose powder. Whereas this one in the summertime, I feel like this is a dupe for the Laura Mercier. I've said that over and over again. Put it in a dupes video, I do feel like that. So I do love this. It's very inexpensive and I think it's a wonderful one at the drugstore, but it doesn't make it into my top five. So let's start with, okay, what is your top five, Melissa? Okay, so at number five is the L'Oreal True Match Powder. This is a pressed powder, of course. That's what we're talking about. This is in N1, which means neutral one. They do have cool tones. They do have warm tones, which I think is a fantastic thing because aren't we always all looking for the right thing to the right colors to be able to put on our face. Now, what I love about this is when I put my finger in here, it feels absolutely like silk. And all of these powders that I picked out have that quality of feeling very silky, very touchable, not too drying as you rub them between your fingers. This one is every bit as good. I like this one because it does have the color on it. I got a very light color. I'm very light in the winter. So it was a great option for me and it doesn't lean too cool where it seems too gray and it doesn't seem too warm where it seems too orange. And I love that about it. I think this powder sets down my makeup. It blurs everything. It just makes everything look so pretty. And there is no scent in this powder, just so you know. The compact is kind of like all the other compacts that are out right now. You can open the bottom and there's a little puff right here with a mirror. So 
you definitely have a little bit of an extra, you know, nice thing on the packaging. But what's inside the packaging for me is what I really like. So this is a really nice powder for me. I use it over and over again since I got it. And I have been testing a lot of powders for you guys. So these are the ones that have just really stood out for me. Okay, at number four is the Physician's Formula Healthy Powder. And I do know that I have a color on this, but I it, it's not on the back anymore. I don't know why. So I'll make sure I throw it up on the screen. Now, the Healthy Powder is like the Healthy Foundation in that it's supposed to have really good properties in there. Not supposed to dry you out and it definitely would be good for um, more mature skin. And I find that not just mature skin, but dry skin as well. Again, it's super finely milled, but when I rub it between my fingers and I put it on my face, I feel like it's got just a little bit less of a drying property than a loose setting powder would have. And I like that this one comes in colors as well. I do like a translucent powder, but it seems to me when they do these, they're looking for a little bit of added like coverage if you need it. So any of these that you put on are, is gonna give you just a little bit more coverage. However, if you are super dry like me, you don't wanna cake your powder no matter what. And I you will tell you that one of the things I do in order to not get totally dried out is I actually spray my my face before and after I powder with a hydrating setting spray. It just seems to help out so much. At number three, I put in the e.l.f. Sheer Tint Finishing Powder. And again, this one is in Fair Light and it does have that fun compact. I think that they all have done such a great job on their packaging where you can go ahead and have the mirror, throw it in your purse, all that good stuff. What I love about this is that, again, it does have the tint but you stick your finger in here and that creaminess is immediately felt. Whereas there are powders that are pressed. Let's say like e.l.f. does have another powder that's pressed and it's just a translucent powder. It feels much more drying. Like the It Bye Bye Pores, that's a drying powder and they do that on purpose. They want the blurring effect, but they also don't want people to look oily during the day. So it's going to soak up oil. This one, feels like it's a lot softer and it's gonna play a lot better on mature skin. So once again, you have the blurring properties, a little bit added coverage if you want that, and the setting down properties of it. And I love this one. This is one I reach for over and over again. And I think it's just a fantastic powder as far as having that sheer, color to it, but being able to set your makeup and not disturb it at all, not change the look of your makeup at all, keep the color, all that good stuff. Now in at number two is my Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. Now you wouldn't think that this one would necessarily be a setting powder, but for me, it's not like it's super banana. And yes, my top is broken off of it. But for it's just a really, really good setting powder. Now the packaging on this isn't as great because obviously it's broken, there's no mirror in there, but the product inside is fantastic. Again, I put my finger in here, but what I really, really love about this one is that it does have those brightening effects to it. I love it so much more than their matte setting powder, which is a white powder. It just doesn't feel as creamy and it doesn't feel as soft. And when I put it on my face, I don't feel like that matte one has those qualities of being able to brighten up that this one does. So that's why this one is in, is in at number two, because the little tiny bit of yellow in here. It's not a lot, you guys. It's a little bit. And by the way, a lot of these come in other colors. So you're going to be able to get a deeper tone if you're a deeper toned gal. So don't be discouraged by I'm showing you all the light ones. Just remember that's my coloring, but they do come in other colors, but this one doesn't. So this one, if you are a medium to deep toned gal, you might not like this one as much as I do. But I do find that in the summertime when I sweat underneath my eyes, this one's perfect because I can just put a tiny bit on there and it just seems to blur without settling into fine lines or anything. And I highly recommend it because it does have that brightening effect on your face. And again, it doesn't lean too warm. It doesn't lean too cool. It just seems to be a beautiful in the middle brightening powder. So that's my number two. 
in at number one. This one has been a lot of people's number one. And this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Perfecting Powder. And again, we have the mirror and the puff and the underneath part. So this packaging is very nice as well. They but do have a lot of other colors, just so you know. This one is in porcelain. But this one, more than any of the other ones, when I stick my finger in here, I feel that creaminess, that quality that I really want in order to not dry out my face. So this time of year, I'm in love with this. I use it all the time. I reach for it all the time. This is actually my second compact that I've had. So this powder has been well loved by me. I, I hear so many people talk about it all the time. And that's the basic reason is it, there's just a quality about it that gives you such a blurring, beautiful effect on your face without, you know, drying you down and making you look matte because it is the light illusion. So it has that little bit of radiance to it without having any sort of a shimmer whatsoever. It's just a very brightening powder is what I find. And I don't find that during the day I look in the mirror and I feel cakey. I don't feel like during the day I look in the mirror I've got breakthrough. And I actually don't feel like I had any of these powders do the breakthrough or the cakiness. Believe me, I've tried a ton of them for this video specifically. So the five that I chose had to be right up there with the cream of the crop. So definitely wanted to put this in at number one because it just makes my makeup look so pretty. Helps it to last further in the day and look more perfected during the day. And that's the real quality that I was looking for in all of these is that even though a setting powder can denote that, you know, if you're dry, it may be, it may dry you out. None of these powders are going to dry you out, especially this one. And at number one, it just makes my skin look absolutely perfected and I love it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this top five of the setting powders and the extra one that I threw in there too. I just feel like powders are something that a mature woman really has to be careful with because they can really age you more. And that's really what I do feel like I found in these five powders. Powders that were good for dry skin, for mature skin, for texture, for helping to blur out and soften your complexion. And yeah, any one of these that you choose would be really good to try out. And I think there's there's a hit in here for just about anybody. And thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you do like this type of video where I go in and I just pick out five products that I feel like were the cream of the crop at the drugstore just proves that you don't have to spend an arm and a leg in order to have beautiful makeup and just have beautiful skin. And if you do enjoy these kinds of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here as a part of my YouTube family. We have a great bunch of people here. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. I hope everyone is happy and healthy and I will catch you guys all in my next video. Love ya, bye-bye.